They say that most people are forgotten after they die, after probably two generations. So basically after you die, unless you did something spectacular that the world knows of, in 40 or 50 years you're just going to be forgotten. Um, <clears throat> and I wonder how much that's going to change. So for example, just looking back at my lineage, um, my father who's 65 now I think, maybe 66, his father died at the age of 25, I believe, 24. He was very young. My father was only uh, five years old when his father passed away. I know very little about my grandfather. Uh, on my mother's side, um, her parents, my mother, her brother and sister are about 20 years older than her. Her parents were elderly. Um, even when she was younger, they died before I was born as well. My grandmother on my father's side just had her 90th birthday. She's still kicking. I know her very well. But those other grandparents, I don't, I, I, I know that my mom's father's name was John. I don't know what her mother's name was. I know that he was a cop. That's about all I know about them. My dad's dad, I'm pretty sure his name was Vincent. Um, I've seen, I, ha I have one picture of him and my dad when my dad was like, I don't know, two years old. That's the only picture I have. Now there's, my dad has some old, uh, black and white films of family stuff uh, that I've seen. Um, my grandfather was probably in that, but they're very, there are very few films. The camera's moving around a lot. I've watched it with, you know one or two of them with my dad where he's like, oh, that's so-and-so, that's so-and-so, but I don't know any of these people. I don't remember any of these people. How much is that going to change now? For example, right now I'm recording this video. You're all watching it. It's up online. Will it be up online in, in 50 years um, or 100 years? Who knows? Who knows? But there is so much video of me. Uh, in the last couple of years. And that's true of everybody, not just people who do YouTube videos. We all have cell phones. We all take pictures and videos all the time. Growing up, my dad was big into taking pictures and videos. So we have, I have a good amount, or my dad has a good amount of pictures and videos of me as a child. I have a good amount, but I need to get the rest from him. But they're all on these tapes that he's converted some over, you know. Um, but even someone like my dad who was filming a lot growing up, there's still a limited amount. But my kids, there's not a day goes by that there's not a picture taken of them. In fact, I mean, their kids are hard to get hold still. So when my wife takes a picture of them, usually she takes three to five pictures of everything she takes pictures of. And they're taking pictures and videos all day long. And I've gotten very super, and what's making me think about this right now, although I've thought about this before, is, you know, come to the end of the year, so I am, I do regular automatic backups. So my phone and my computers automatically back up to different servers. My phone backs up to my desktop computer and one of my servers. And then uh, my desktop computer gets backed up uh, to another server in the house and to some storage online. I do um, yearly backups of all that information. So I take all my pictures and videos and I put them on a drive and I put them in a fireproof safe. So everything is on my desktop. Two different servers, as far as photos and videos. My desktop, two different local servers, multiple cloud servers, and they're backed up to in, in my safe, my fireproof safe. And when the hard drives on my servers get full, for example, there was I had a terabyte drive on one of them, and I ended up, I don't even think I really filled that up. I kind of doubled everything up because I, I just, storage is so cheap now, I just pile on everything on there. And then I backed all that up to the new uh, four terabyte drive I have and put that one in the safe. So, I mean, all this video, just so, so much data. And the thing is, I know so little about my grandparents, but my grandkids, if they're interested, there's going to be so much video of me. They're not just going to know if they want. They're not just going to know who I am. They're going to know a lot about me. There's only so much I can get from a picture and my dad talking about my dad, which, again, my dad was only five when his father passed away. So there's, how much does he have memory of him? It's a sad thing. Um...
are we going to be forgotten like we are? It's like, it's just so weird to think. I don't know anything about any great grandparents of mine. Um, I can tell you their names, what they did, what they looked like. I don't know anything. And I can ask and learn a little bit, but am I really going to know that person? Now, if you're one of my grandkids or great grandkids and you're watching this, I love you guys. <laughs> and you may not be able to sit here and talk to me, but you probably could know so much about me. Just from watching these videos, you know what I sound like, although I'm still getting over laryngitis here. Uh, you know my mannerisms, uh, things I like, I, I talk about, how I act. You know so much about me. Am I going to be forgotten? But then again, there's so much information. Maybe, maybe I'll go a couple of generations, but then you go 10 generations down the line. There's just so much history. But all this stuff's going to be available. I mean, the odds of all these videos and pictures of me getting lost, they're up online, they're stored multiple places, my kids have copies. When my kids get older, they're going to get copies of all these drives in my, in my uh, safe. If I pass away, they're going to have access to it. It's just, it's there if people want to know. And it, it would be awesome if I could go back and look at my grandparents, my great-grandparents, my great-great-grandparents, you know, and know so much about them. Again, it's kind of a balance because a thousand years from now, these videos of me still probably exist, I would think. I mean, unless there's some world catastrophe. But if they are around, there's a lot of information around. There's a lot of things around. And it's just a matter of sorting through it all. But all they would really need to know, especially for me. I mean, if your name's John Smith, you know, it might be hard for kids, your, your great, 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 great grandkids to, to find information out you because there's a lot of John Smiths. But how many... Chris Acapintis, Christopher Acapintis, spelt with a K and an F, are there out there? It's going to be so easy for my kids to find me online, to find information about me. And hopefully these files I'm saving are passed down at least a couple generations. You know, I mean, out, photo albums get passed down. But even photo albums, I mean, how do you go back? You go back 50 years, there's some photos. You go back 100 years, do you think there's any photos of my relatives? I mean, how often people have photos taken of them a hundred years ago. There were cameras, but not everybody had them. It's kind of a luxury to have, and even then, you know, you only took so many photos. It's just a weird concept to think about the stuff we're recording now, and how different lineages, and knowing your, your, your past, um, than it has been up to this point. I mean, in the past, it's like, maybe you're lucky, maybe your ancestors kept family trees, and maybe they kept diaries and journals, and you can read their thoughts, but it's not the same. Video like this, clear photos and videos, and, and knowing me, and, and who I am, and how I am, you can decide whether you hate me or love me a hundred years later, a thousand years later, again, who knows what's going to be doing a thousand years later, but there's a good chance that this, this information is still going to be around, you know, ignoring some sort of catastrophe that just wipes all information out or the majority of information out. There's so much information and storage is so cheap now. And uh, yeah, I don't expect my great, 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 great grandkids to be watching videos of me regularly. But at some point in their life, they might be curious about their, 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 you know, history and where their family came from. And, and if they wanted to, they could find these videos and they could talk to me. But there's so many of them out there they're going to watch. And are they going to be good ones? I don't know. It's just such a weird thought about how different memories of you are going to be after you pass away now than your ancestors. Anyway, what do you think about this? Comment below. Have a great day.